The worst thing is to be in cash. Like I say, cash is trash and to be in to, uh, and to be out of, of the bonds. Hello everyone, legendary investor Ray Dalio shares his near-term economic and global geographic outlook with some stern warnings. Subscribe now, hit that bell icon, and embark on an enriching journey toward financial success. Let's unlock the potential of these markets together and pave the way for a brighter financial future. Welcome aboard. And there are five types of wars. Uh, there's a trade war, there's a technology war, there's a geopolitical influence war. There is a capital war. And then there's a military shooting war. Um, and we are in the first four of those wars um, in, uh, in this competition. Um, with China or with Russia? With China. Well, we're not in a shooting war with China. We are in um, a shooting war of sorts in Ru with Russia and the Ukraine. We're providing arms and so they're shooting. And so there's a military war going on and, uh, and we're in it uh, in our way. So we're at those particular uh, spots. Um, and the capital war um, is sanctions. We hear the notion of sanctions and what that means is they're economic and the way they work is to shut off, um, to produce economic pain by either um, not letting them get at their money or um, not letting them get to goods that they can import. And these have happened through time. Um, in Japan, that was what set us up for uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor because the United States cut off Japan's oil supply, was in the process of doing that, and also confiscated its uh, bonds, much the same way is happening now. And that put them into a corner that led them to um, bomb Pearl Harbor, and then we went to a military war. So that's where we are now. And that also is risky because it threatens the value of the dollar because um, the, right, uh, right now debt is dollars. A a any currency, the way you hold it is you hold it in the form of debt. You don't hold it just in paper. And um, uh, because it, there's a rising inflation and because there's a lot of printing of money and because there's also a greater fear on a number of countries that they too could be sanctioned, there is a selling of dollar denominated debt. So you're seeing that the bond market is going down and that's interest started rate. escalating recently. Yeah, that's right. And so there is that, that dynamic that's going on. The capital wars um, are the ones that accelerate immediately before um, the, uh, the military wars. Mm -hmm. Usually the coffers are empty, they're printing a lot of money and then they're trying to use uh, economics as a weapon. So we're, we're in that part of the cycle. Now, um, in terms of how this will transpire, I think there are, um, there are three big questions that we're going to learn about and we get answers to pretty quickly. Um, the first is, does uh, Putin and Russia uh, win or lose? Um, I'll describe win as um, what he wanted at the outset, which is win for Russia would be to have um, the Ukraine ha um, be some non-threatening position, such as a neutrality, a guaranteed neutrality, and for Russia to have control over Eastern provinces, and for Russia not to be um, economically devastated, um, instead to be maybe have a, something like a 10 or 12% decline in GDP, and for Putin to be in power. If those four things happen, <clears throat> then the cost of his actions will have been worth the, uh, what was obtained from that. 
and that would be viewed as a win. Um, it would be then also a loss <clears throat> from the Western countries. The world is looking at the power of American sanctions um, because American sanctions are the greatest power the United States has. If it was a military power, it, the world has uh, come to the position that a number of countries have had um, an equal ability to do harm to the United States militarily as the United States was have, have to do to them. And so we don't have a dominant military power anymore. Wow. But we do have a uh, dominant um, sanctions power. So if we're still ahead of China, um, in, in, in the United States and ability to influence ha have economic sanctions is much ahead because it controls the world's reserve currency. That's a biggest yeah. asset. But in weaponizing the dollar, um, it is leading those to get around and not want to hold dollars because they get worried that they're going to be confiscated. So. <clears throat> So we will see if that dollar um, sanctions power, we'll see how powerful it is. If it isn't very powerful, that's going to be a problem. Um, because, because others we'll, will perceive our weakness. Well, and they'll also realize then, um, uh, then you only have military power. I mean, think about this way. If this war is not, a difficult war for the United States and Europe for the most important. It, it produces higher oil prices and the like. But um, while Russia is throwing in military, we are throwing in sanctions. And these sanctions don't cause li cost lives. Um, it's not a military war. Uh, so we're fighting it with sanctions and they're fighting it with, um, with military. If you didn't have that, how would you fight this war? it would be a much more difficult situation. What do you do in an inflationary environment? As somebody who's not, I don't consider myself a savvy investor. And so I always wanted, I used to joke with my money manager, I want to be as close to my money buried in the backyard as possible. And uh, obviously for inflation reasons, I have since learned that that is a terrible strategy. Um, but what do you do? Well, first thing is you realize that uh, holding cash and dead assets is a bad thing. So a lot of um, money uh, is in cash because people think that cash is the safest investment. But they are measuring that in the amount of money that they get nominal returns. And they say it doesn't wiggle much. But think about it. Um, it's lost, as of the most recent statistics, 8.5% over the last, um, inflation is 8.5%, and they receive virtually no interest rate in cash. And That's so there terrible. was an 8.5% loss of buying power as a result of inflation. And so psychology should change and is in the process of changing to realize that you have to think in terms of buying power, not the number of dollars you have. Mm. And you have to think um, how much uh, are your, is your buying power. And so the worst thing is to be in cash. Like I say, cash is trash. And to be, in to, uh, and to be out of uh, the bonds. Um, the next thing is to have a diversified portfolio of assets. Um, the diversification um, means um, some assets that are um, uh, inflation hedge prone. For example, you're better off to own an inflation index bond than a regular bond. Um, what makes something an inflation index? Like what, what are the nature? Is that going to be gold and precious metals? tangible things like what are the things that are resistant to inflation um yes and inflation index bonds because their returns are tied to inflation interesting uh, i don't i don't understand that well enough to know what how one would do that is that worth going into i don't know what the punchline is going to be yeah um i think the punchline is if you take a look at it 
Uh, it's, in, it's simple. It's uh, like a regular bond, except um, its payments are linked to the inflation. So they compensate you for inflation. So the, is this a government bond? Yeah, government bond. Okay. And there are some tax advantages to them too. So look into them. Okay. And why don't people just flood into that? Well, um, I think it's, it's one type of asset. The flooding into any one thing is, a, is an issue. But, the, but moving from the nominal bonds in which the government just says, I'll give you this amount of money and it has the unbel unbe unbelievable and unlimited ability to print the money it gives you, um, it would favor inflation index bonds. Um, and it could be other assets. Uh, you know, some people would say something in terms of cryptocurrencies or it might be um, uh, the, those other assets. Um, I think What's your take on crypto? So crypto is a huge part of my portfolio. I think you'd be mortified to see uh, just how much so. But yeah, what are your thoughts on crypto? Um, I think I, I think that too much pe people pay too much attention to one uh, at at the extreme of the other. You know um, that either somebody's all crypto um, and, or they're all gold or they're all something. And I, uh, I, I believe that that's a challenge. I think that um, uh, crypto like gold is not a productivity earning asset and it can be controlled by governments uh, in lots of ways. It's been outlawed in a number of places. And it also can be monitored. The privacy um, element is not uh, secure from governments doing monitoring. And, and, and so, um, and the size of crypto is about the size of um, Microsoft. You know, it's all crypto combined. And so to um, be overly concentrated in it, in my opinion, is a mistake. Um, uh, but to have some of it, uh, is a good it is a good thing. So the question is always, uh, what amount of it? Mm. So that's um, uh, you know I have a little bit about it. I'd probably shock you about how little I have. <laughs> you shock me about how much how much you have, uh, but having some of it. Um, so the um, and other things I would say is that geographic location is important. In other words, not just all in U.S. and U.S. dollar assets. Um, I would say that the three things that, that, again, I'm looking at if I go down countries is first, um, are they earning more than they're spending? Do they have a good income statement and balance sheet? This is going to be very important in the period of head, ahead because the amount of credit that's going to be available to bridge the gap between spending and earning, uh, cash flows and so on is going to be a quite narrower. So a lot of companies even that were able to raise cash um, and not have good cash flow because of maybe growth expectations in the future will find it more difficult. That'll be true for individuals. It'll be true for um, countries. Thank you for watching the interview highlights of Ray Delio. If you enjoy this highlight video, Please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.